Hello, Banffbeard here, doing a quick tutorial on the Spindle Clutch dungeon. I got picked up by a pub, and this run through will actually show you how good a group can actually be when they follow the MMO rules and not necessarily play like they're playing Skyrim. Uh, like 70% of my armor was broken, and I was like, hey guys, let me go and uh, uh, re equip some better armor, like repair my armor. He's like, now we got you, let's just run through it. We weren't high levels, we were all 12, 13, you know, that range, 14. And we just tore this thing up. I died, of course, but my armor was broken. That was kind of expected. But other than that, it was an amazing group. It was a great pub. And if you pay attention, and I'll kind of walk through what we did. And uh, hopefully this can help you guys if you need assistance with your run through the Spindle Clutch dungeon. Your first fight you guys will face as far as the boss goes is the Spindlekin. It's a pretty easy fight. There's a couple ways you can do it. Most people, if they're of a decent level, will just go in there and, and bum rush everything until it's all dead. Um, some people like to pull the mob of smaller spiders first and try to eliminate them before they then focus on the main boss, which is the Spindlekin. Uh, don't do what we're doing here. Luckily, our healer was very decent as far as being able to take care of himself but you want to pay attention make sure that the mobs don't overtake the healers so you can get your heals and always have a tank going first and try to occupy the spindlekin's attention while the night blades and other enemies or uh, other allies can gang rape the crap out of it from behind uh, if you stay with that strategy eh, you shouldn't have a problem at all um, just make sure the healer stays alive throughout pretty much most of this dungeon but here especially I'll kind of talk about this next kind of area a little bit, but I'll probably jump through uh, quickly for uh, the spider section. From here to the next boss, or the next couple bosses, there's just a bunch of groups of spiders that are kind of laying out amongst the path that you should take. Um, they aren't really like healer based or anything like that, They're, they just attack, that's pretty much their only job, so you don't necessarily have to worry about killing the healer, or killing the tank, or killing this, or killing that first. You can pretty much kill them all in any order. The only thing you just want to make sure is you aren't rushing through so quickly uh, because you can get a little overswarmed. And as you can see here, we took a path to the right to kill this group of spiders because if you go forward, you can get that swarm coming plus a couple of these spiders that were over here coming behind you and then you can get overtaken a little quickly if, you, if it happens, you know, it happens. But if you just kind of take it slow, if it's your first time through, you take it slow, don't get overwhelmed, and don't get so many enemies on you at once, and protect the healer, like always. Uh, you should be fine, and, and you shouldn't have any issues getting through this part. Alright, the next area you're going to get to after you go through the many swarms of little baby spiders and little black widows is you're going to meet the next boss, which is the Swarm Mother. She's pretty easy if you follow pretty much the same rules you did last time. Uh, healer stay back, tank keep the, the feisty little bitch occupied, and everybody else hit behind her. Uh, if you're a Nightblade, especially stay behind her. The tank should be able to occupy her enough to where she'll focus more of her attention on that specific tank person. Um, and if she does attack, she's slow enough to where you can kind of maneuver around her. Just stay behind her like I am, and you'll be good to go. The only thing that'll pop up occasionally, and this is good for to have some kind of AOE available. Uh, these little spiders will drop down, as you can see right there, and they usually go after the healer, um, or the tank, but usually most of the time they were going for after the healer. They're pretty weak, they aren't anything that is massive. You know, they, they aren't like the normal Black Widows that you fight throughout this little dungeon, where they take a pretty good amount of hits to, to take out. They're pretty simple. You can do one of your AOE spin attacks, your Nightblade, and maybe hit one or two times with your regular attack and they're gone, they're dead. Simple kill. Um, just keep them off the healer, make sure they're focused on tanks and DPS, and just wear her down. Just keep smacking her in the ass until you wear her down and eventually she'll uh, be quickly annihilated. Pretty simple.
had no choice. No options. This next step, um, something makes everybody get rabies. As you can see, there's the rabies flash. Um, the group doesn't really get affected by it, but all the other players do, which is fine with me. I have no problem killing these little douchebags because these guys right here, when the game first opened, were causing this horrible bug because they wouldn't follow me to the next cave and I could never finish this stupid dungeon. But now that it's fixed, I can finish it. So I will gladly eliminate these guys with the tip of my blade. Um, the concept's really easy. Don't even need one. There is no no plan to fight these guys. You just knock the shit out of them as much as possible with with your weapons of mass destruction, and that's it, man. There, there is no tactic or anything. Just stay alive. Um, I mean, if you want to say there's a tactic, then keep them off the healer, I guess. I mean, that's that's the only thing I can give you. But you really should. If you can't beat this fight, then you're not going to make the last the last fight at all. But don't let me crush your dreams or anything. Neither do you want to fall around. This pleases me. From here on out, the enemies get harder than the actual bosses. Uh, you saw here, our tactic was let the tank go in and uh, let them swarm them and then attack, back attack all the rest of them. If you are a Nightblade, since you have that teleportation spell, it is best that you focus on the healers. Um, if you can tab onto the healers and then attack them while the tank is getting attacked by everybody else, that's a great tactic. Uh, you, the healers are key in this game. It's that little Donnie Darko looking shit that pops out of their chest. That says they're basically keeping somebody alive. So whoever's attacking those people that are getting the Donnie Darko thing, you're not going to kill them. The healers are really effective in here, especially from enemies' point of view, I guess you'd say. Um, this area right here is probably the most difficult part of the dungeon, just because there's like three healers, and it's really, really difficult to focus all your attention on them enough. Uh, plus, there's just a lot of enemies. You've got not only the healers to deal with, but you've also got, I guess you'd call them mini-bosses. Uh, they, you know, they have a name, so I guess it's a mini-boss. It's not just like random evoker. It's... Billy Bob, Bacchanauts. So just be sure in each of these little mobs here to eliminate the healers as much as possible. And then always protect the, uh, the healer. Your healer, not their healer. You want to protect theirs. So if you can stick to that, you should be alright. But expect to die a little bit. I'm surprised I survived, to be honest, because I know my armor was just broken as all hell. Um, but we got through this, and we had a good group, and... and that was it, man. That's all it takes. So as you can see right there, I'm trying to get this douchebag off my healer. Trying to focus his aggro onto me. Um, but if you can keep him alive, you'll stay alive. Uh, Alright, let's move on to the next move. This part's actually somewhat difficult. Um, make sure that if your healer is going to give you or Templar is going to give you any boost, that he allows his magic to uh, regen first. In fact, everybody. A lot of people die here. And I think since the last patch update, they put a lot more guys in this room. Um, be sure to stay close to that tunnel so you don't, for whatever reason, maybe aggro the boss to come down after you. Uh, but it's the same, same effect. Kill the healers, protect your healer and uh, wear them down. Uh, expect to die here too. It, it, it was very difficult. Like I said, I was blessed with a really, really good group, so I didn't die. But prepare prepare to die and don't get discouraged because it it's a pretty difficult part. Um, but blast the room, kill the healers, you're good to go. Now, the boss, that's a different, that's a different story. Um, the concept with the boss is she will pretty much do nothing that's a danger to you except this one attack. Um, you can usually just do what you did on the other bosses where you follow around, you hit her, tank takes aggro, if possible to keep your attention on him. But the thing that she'll do is she'll do this web pull. So as soon as everybody gets pulled in and sucked to toward her, all you're going to want to do is roll out. Um, 
it can be difficult sometimes, which you'll see I'll die here, which kind of sucks because I will die here because you get stuck or for some odd reason you don't roll when you tell yourself to roll. Like I had pretty much full, uh, half to full stamina and I couldn't still roll. So um, just be sure not to get stuck where she's at, where the stairs are, because if you stay back there and you're a Nightblade and you're behind her attacking and then she does that attack and you don't have the room to roll back that stays out of her circle, you're just going to get one shot. So, here are the epic badasses just sitting here ready to recharge all their mana and stamina. And then we go in. We go in for the, for the attack, the assault. Um, like I said, I do die, so sorry about that, but you will get to see visually what's going on. Um, but there she is. Tank's keeping her occupied. She's going to try to go for the healer as much as possible. As long as the tank does his job, she won't really. Um, the danger zone is where we're actually standing. That is the worst place for us to stand because of this attack. If you get stuck on that wall, you, you're fucked. Um, they were able to take a hit because they were pretty much full armor. I won't. If I get hit, I'm done. So at this point in time, let's see when she pulls it out. My stamina is great. Um, she's going to pull everybody and do that circle again. I should have enough to roll at least one more time. She pulls everybody in. And I'm trying to roll. I'm clicking, 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 and I, I couldn't click fast enough for whatever reason. My guy was kind of, he may have been stuck in a, uh, a motion. So you get to see the rest of the uh, fight in this nice little green bubble. But follow those rules and you'll be good. This should hopefully show you what to expect and what she's going to do to you and how not to die. So uh, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking the time. I hope it helps out. Uh, leave comments. Next video, I'll probably try to stay alive. Uh, I'm actually surprised I stayed alive as much as I did. So please like, please sub, and uh, if you like, I'll uh, I'll even throw in a free spoon session. You know, I'll cuddle with you guys, cuddle you to sleep, spoon you to sleep, whatever. We can get in touch, and and the spooning can begin. So, all right, thanks for watching.